there is visible creation and this visible creation is visible we have the night and we have the day we have seasons these things are visible amen I'm talking about the God who is one, hallelujah. I'm talking about the visibility of God. That God on the head. God is visible. That is why you and I are visible. May the wisdom of Jehovah God rest upon you. Jesus name amen when it gets to the Sun the Sun is not in the mind the Sun is visible so you go to Israel and you find Jesus do you like my dress code you find the Sun the Sun is visible Amen. So in the Godhead, when I look at the, the one God in three persons, I look at the one God in three persons, but I see the two aspects of the one God that are tangible. I, they are tangible. You see the Holy Spirit Come on now. Can anyone show me Holy Spirit right now? No. No. But can someone show me God's creation? So when I when I download this just this Godhead in three persons. I'm thinking, ah, man. Oh, number two of February law is the second month in the 12 months. Whether the enemy likes it or not, February, I'm expecting to see the visibility of the creative power of Jehovah God. So you are talking three million sun before end of the, 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 the year. This is not in the mind. When three million is in your account, it will be physical money. And I'm saying February is the season, the times that God is going to show us in the tangible what he has been doing behind the Holy Spirit in 2018 so in February I'm expecting to see the real miracles in February I'm expecting to see the blessing walking because the blessing is not in the mind the blessing is physical and when you are blessed people will confirm that there is a blessing that you are carrying it's physical so i looked and i said lord god the creator God the Son, these are two of the Godhead, the one Godhead, hallelujah. But I choose to look at them and say there is the Father and the Son and they are in the physical. February, there is also God and his kingdom and the enemy and his, his kingdom. When the enemy wants to strike, he strikes, he becomes very vicious in December. Because 
he knows that December one it is a season that we have put aside to celebrate all the 11 months uh, to the 12th month amen uh, and in the language of the devil uh, celebration does not exist uh, so if he can bring sorrow he will wait for sorrow and confusion uh, to land in december it's not written in the bible it's just called when God de releases. So he does this so that you don't enter into the following year, which is January. And he knows that when he misses December, chances are he is going to miss January. If he, if he, oh God, oh God Almighty. If he has your name in January. In January, God does the exchange of Isaiah 43. Hallelujah. So, so we've got to understand why we were eating cake. That we are in a season, we're in a time where God is about to unleash the remnant. In February, it is the time where what is conceived by a human being of the Holy Spirit will manifest. The teachings that we are going to have here they, they, they only were waiting for February. I've spoken about them, but they waited. February is a month, child of God. Of springing forth. It is a month of springing forth. You wonder why organizations, they don't know why some of them do their reviews in November. Amen. They do the reviews in November and in December, everyone is home. January somehow, we are Sanganiswa. February, this thing must kick in. Yes, I wish, I wish you could hear me because you can download your, your increase right now. You can download your increase right now so that by the time it is end of February, I'll understand how. But all of a sudden, the sales are higher and the economy is bad. But because you are a child of God, hallelujah, an unusual liking, an unusual favor rests upon you. And the boss calls you aside and he says, yes, in your turn. You don't know what to say, but Holy Spirit quickly says to you, tell him or her that we am tender as well. Because he says, when I begin to send you, when I begin to manifest, you will not have your words. I will not need your words. I will put words inside of you. And when you speak, it shall become. Because it is no longer you that is speaking, but me through you. Uh, God is faithful, amen. I was just talking about February. That we're on the 9th of February. Is it possible that there is something for you on this day that when it hits 12 o'clock tonight, it shall have landed in your hand? Let me tell you about the power of the number nine. I'm not a study of neurology, but I can tell you that the angelic and angels operate on the number nine. 
So when I say to you, can you, is it possible that you can open your spirit and say, today is the ninth. Is it possible that God can wire you so that right from today, the ninth, up until the 28th, daily you are expectant. You know, when you introduced me, son, and you said the general, I was quickly quickened by the word that God speaks to Moses. And he says, I will take the spirit that is in you and release it to the people. I'm going to pray for you. I am honestly going to pray for you. That let the spirit of the Christ that is in me, I think it has to rest upon you. It must rest upon you. Hallelujah. Because it is a spirit of God undiluted, uncorrupted. Hallelujah. It's ambition. It is one ambition. It is the agenda of God. It is the agenda of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All it means is if you can't receive the vessel, you can't receive the message. And the enemy makes sure that people are in churches where they hate the vessel and they waste their time. I'm now speaking heaven because God knows what is inside of you and he knows why this house he knows why you and he knows why me and if you will not be able to discern like the sons of Issachar why am I here why have I been placed here hallelujah you will come here and waste your precious time instead of being in a bar and drinking Johnny Walker there comes Johnny Walker. All I was emphasizing is don't take the month lightly. Don't. Do not take this February lightly. Go and Google biblical meaning of what is found. When God creates man, he said, the Bible says he created them, men and women. They were two in one. At the same time, hallelujah, why were there not three? Why did he not create man, woman, child? So we've got to discern. We've got to look in between and try and understand how old am I? I'm talking you. Believe you me, I'm preaching. I'm still going to preach. How old are you? This is you now asking yourself, how old am I? What have I accomplished? What have I done? How many people have I impacted? Am I still being loved? Hallelujah. So I'm 52. And I look at myself and I say, Lord, what color you need? What bear 
head rang here. What bird? Is it bird? Christos corrects me. And I tell him, boy, as long as you can understand what Mama is trying to say, I didn't do Model C. Guy and Jagu government school. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We do have to ask ourselves this question. Because if this question is not answered, if it is not asked, that we do, the children would be slaves. Ah. Uh, yeah, hallelujah. I bless the Lord for his time. I was talking about February. Amen. Now, one of the things that I'm doing or I've started doing in 2019 is to be prepared. You see, I have this device. It's called... Uh, What is it called? A tablet. I'm tired of papers. Hallelujah. Kadi papers. I'm done, Kadi papers. From last Sunday, I went and I thought, tablet, come. I'm done getting papers. Dear Pepuka. Hallelujah. They fly. Amen. Mpundis, we are just going to open the word. Hallelujah. The message is simple and yet very deep living in the spirit living in the spirit amen and I'm going to ask that you open your Bibles to the book of Galatians 5 16 to 17 hallelujah amen is less hallelujah the Lord is wonderful amen God is faithful all the time amen but I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. Galatians 5, 16 to 17. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. Father, we thank you for the precious presence of Holy Spirit in our lives. For you say if we walk by him, we will not accomplish the desires of the flesh. Speak to our hearts, dear Lord, this afternoon, so that only your name may be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. 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 That statement is not a recommendation. Hallelujah. It's a command. Walk by the Spirit. And you will not be in a position. Huh? There is a whole lot in that one line that is far deeper than we would ever understand it. Amen. Now, when I was reading this, that's why I like the key word, study Bible, because it presents to me the different meanings of one and the same word. Amen. That word, walk by, means in the Greek rendering, being shielded. It means being protected. It means being armed. So when the Bible says, but I say, walk by the Spirit. He is talking stuff that is too deep. He says, I am, an, I am saying to you, be shielded by the Spirit. 
spirit. Be armed by the spirit. Hallelujah. So that you do not find yourself in a position where you walk by the flesh. Now, that, that word walk. So that you do not carry out. Carrying out does not mean walking from here to here. Carrying out means starting from the beginning to the end. So, Paul is saying, when you are shielded by the Spirit of God, when you are armed by the Spirit of God, when you are protected by the Spirit of God, you will not accomplish. You will not carry out unto its perfection the works of the flesh. I want to repeat this. There is a difference leaving my home and saying I'm coming to church. Hallelujah. There is a beginning point and there is a destination. Amen. When I walk by the Spirit, when I'm shielded by the Spirit, I will be able to leave my house and get to the destination where I am meant to go. Amen. Hallelujah. So when the Spirit of God is my shield, is my armor, is my protection, though the enemy can come and tempt me, I will not think through the dirtiness of the enemy to the degree of carrying out the plan of the enemy. I will not perfect the lust of the flesh. What is the meaning of that word flesh? Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the only delay, derailer, amen. That, that word flesh means desires. Okay, desires means a great appetite and inordinate appetite and ungodly appetite amen so when the in the absence of the being shielded by him of being armed by him of being hidden in his word the enemy will come and look at me and begin to sell an idea in my mind and if i'm not shielded by him not only will it be an idea but it will translate into a plan and the plan will be carried out right up to its completion That's very dangerous right there. But I say to you, walk by the Spirit. And walk not by the flesh, so that you cannot, so that you cannot carry out the desires of the flesh. Now, these desires would be propelled. Now, I am not armed by the Holy Spirit. So here you are. I'm going to put the opposites of both so that you hear me. So here you are. You are unprotected by the Holy Spirit. You are just walking by the flesh. And the Bible says... The flesh and the spirit are forever at opposite ends. The spirit desires to do the will of God. But the flesh wants to carry out the deeds of the enemy. Hallelujah. So the moment you are not covered and a woman who is wearing a two centimeter sits in front and you are not covered. The look of the thighs 
develops further. You call the armor bearer and you say, can you get her details for me? I have a word for her. You are naked. I want you to see this. The armor bearer goes and gets the number. You call the saint and you say, I need to see you because while I was in prayer, you were right in church, you were not in prayer, but you are a naked man called the servant of God. Hallelujah. And you begin to see what you were not meant to see in the absence of the armor of God. You do not stop by telling her that I want to, I wa you do not stop with the lies. And then it goes, in other words, you accomplish, you perfect what is coming from a diseased state of your being. Your soul has the potential of being diseased if it does not walk according to the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Church of God, I'm speaking. And the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. You need to check your ways. How much of my walk is by the spirit? Because if it is not by the spirit, then I am unprotected protected and if i am no i am unprotected then i'm vulnerable and if i'm vulnerable i can be employed to carry out plans that may even work against my life i'm sure we are saying how on earth can she share like this when we're so energized I'm answering a question that says the man of God was anointed. He submitted to Elisha, which means he was delivering people, which means he was operating in the anointing, but he had equal auto. I am speaking to you like this because he makes reference to the name slave that it does not mean a person who is coerced, amen but you and I are already coerced by the system of the world because we are, we are bowing down to bosses and you are sitting there and I'm trying to show you what could just be the problem you are not walking by the Spirit. There is power. I bless God for how what you shared, son. Because when people were so, we were jumping, right? But in the jumping, I say to us, we need to be realistic. It must not stop at the jumping. It must get to conviction that when, as an individual, what are you doing with the life that God has borrowed you, that God has entrusted in your hand? What has it been utilized? Prince is asleep. Prince, go get a couple of five roses for Pastor S. He was going for tea. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to present the opposite. That if you walk by the Spirit, you will not fulfill the deeds of the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. If you walk by the Spirit, it means you are guided by Him. It means you are led by Him. It means what you do has nothing to do with when. Can I repeat? Mina, I'm tired of saints that do things for themselves and not for God. That gospel is from darkness. It needs to leave the church of the devil. 
usebenze sontweni uyisebenzele wena Stand up be an offering because the Bible says this is my temple and if it is the temple of the Holy Trinity then it means that is not your body it means you were purchased it means somebody is owing you is owning you and if somebody is owning you somebody is demanding something out of you who is it it is not the prophetess hallelujah stop your egos surrender yourselves unto god and say father if there is anything you can use i am here let those that play instruments play them because the gift is coming from god hallelujah let the preachers preach because the message is from god it has nothing to do with them this is not a place to be validated by other human beings this is the place where the vine that you are connected to must begin to show us the fruit he says if you are the branch you are connected to me and if you are connected to me you will bear much fruit and if there is no fruit i'm gonna chop you and then when you are chopped you come with your attitude and you say i am important but they are not recognizing me come on child of god it is time you walk by the spirit There is problem in churches because people are in the flesh. Oh, I bless Jesus. I bless Jesus because I never, I, I never have my own agenda. Hallelujah. But right now, how old are you? When Zani? Because if we don't change, and decide consciously the bible says a righteous man lives by faith where does the faith come from the faith comes from you hearing the word and the hearing comes by the spirit of god Awen in jail. Good. No one owes you anything. Nobody. As I stand here, no one is owing me anything. Amen. But the only thing that God says we owe one another, it is love. Hallelujah. But where does love come from? Love comes from the spirit. So if I'm not walking, then it means I cannot walk in love. And the opposite of love is hate. And where there is hate is jealousy. And where there is jealousy is envy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Sinner of the Holy Spirit uh, that will tell me he needs this today, uh, she needs this tomorrow. It will not be by my might. Uh. Yes, you cannot do the flater, uh, but you can give me a better amen. Uh, ah! I'm going to jump because the spirit is, is, is jumping. Hallelujah. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm reading the word as I was preparing for this. That how far is this walking by the spirit? In Luke chapter 2, I'm graduating. Verse 52. Come on, prophetess. Come
come on servant of the Lord hallelujah the Bible says Jesus grew in wisdom he grew in he increasingly hey, he increasingly grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with man Must we are God's here Jesus grew like I am growing in wisdom in stature which means at some point I was a size five and then I became a size six I was a little tiny girl until I became a woman hallelujah what is wisdom where does wisdom come from I am about to tell you that wisdom does not come from darkness it comes from God it is dispensed wisdom is called the seven eyes of the Holy Spirit the seven spirits of God you better walk by the Spirit we better walk by the Spirit now I'm asking myself hi man well I've been here for too long as a boy I have been here for flipping too long and then as cut hallelujah because man this one no one I should far by now hallelujah but what has held me back it is Hosea 4 verse 6 hallelujah we are perishing because we lack knowledge hallelujah where does knowledge come from it does not come from men it comes from the wisdom of the creator of knowledge who is that he is Holy Spirit I am preaching. If Jesus had privileges, why did he have to grow? Revelations of the truth of God will be spoken on this pulpit uh, and not from any other source uh, not from any other book uh, i choose uh, to carry this bible uh, because in it uh, there is wisdom uh, that comes from god so if he jesus was increasing Haman, the dude was a dude. He was truly a son of man. I am a son of man too. I am a son of man too. You are a son of man too. So there is an expectation that as he is, they that say they have his spirit inside of them, they need to walk like him. They need to behave like him. What is walk? It is being shielded. It's being shielded. So there is no excuse to sin. There is no excuse to ignorance. Mfundis is last corner corner. Because it's guess a lala. Instead of prayer, the Bible says, meditate on my word day in and day out, night and day. You and I don't meditate on the word and we begin to look for physical human beings that must meditate on our behalf. Hey, let me tell you a shock. Some of them do not even meditate on anything. I'm going to say about the glory. 
I can say glory. Hallelujah. Oh, ha. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. We need to walk by the Spirit so that we do not carry out the dead plans the dark plans of the enemy my people are perishing because they are not eating my word day in and day out when others are not asleep we don't pray when others are calling their gods hallelujah let the spirit of prayer let the spirit of loving Jesus rest upon the saints under this voice walk by the spirit the flesh is corrupt I say the flesh is corrupt. We are land, we are borrower, we are lenders, borrowers, because we are caught up in a corrupt flesh. We are we 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 are caught up. We are caught up in ignorance. We are caught up in the dirty thoughts of the flesh that is forever looking to be glorified by another flesh. There is a saying that says, Suguma Vugu Zenzele Vugu Zenzele Wena Hallelujah! So that greed, so that the spirit of competition that is negative leaves you alone. Arise, take up your walk, take up your shield, take up your authority, begin to occupy not your other race, but your own race. Don't look at your neighbor, neighbor has a race. Neighbor has the assignment. What is your assignment? Hallelujah. If you are a worshiper, worship God up until the blind eyes are opened. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If you are a teacher, teach! Hallelujah! If you are an apostle, be an apostle! Can you give birth to original things of Jehovah God? My spiritual father, has no choice but to reordain me. I say my spiritual father has another assignment. The assignment is that I have always known that I am an apostle of the living God. It is not doubt. Hallelujah! 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 I am carrying uh, an apostolic anointing, uh, whether the devil likes it uh, or not. Uh, I have eaten the cakes, uh, and it shall come to pass. Apostles are not meant to steal other churches. Apostles. They go to a field. The 
that is empty and dry. Alaba Sharia, Elabe Kalibosia, Apostles, work from nothing up until what God showed them comes to fruition. Apostles are not behind pulpits. Apostles are in government. Apostles are in ambassadors. They are ambassadors of nations. Apostles. Oh, they don't need four walls. Hallelujah. They need an iPad. They need a cell phone. They need to be connected. They need a plane ticket. They need a country. Those are apostles of God. Those are apostles of God. You will find them in the marketplace. When we speak of territories, we are not talking about a church. We are not talking about stealing from nobody. I say if you are here and you have a problem of the blessing that is in the other, come on, child of God. In the book of Luke, chapter 2, hallelujah, baby Jesus grew in stature. You are about to grow in stature. You are about to increase in wisdom. You are about to increase and walk in the favor of God and man. When you walk in the favor of God, you attract funny things. You, you attract funny things. You can't explain them yourself. But it just, it just falls in the category of a blessed one. Hallelujah. 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 Am I allowed to walk bare feet? Hallelujah. I am preaching. I'm saying apostles are original. Shandakura Saya. Apostles are original. The Lord God Almighty deposits a divine plan in the mind of a vessel who is carrying an apostolic anointing. If you are an apostle, you don't need to steal. No idea from nobody. Let that one flourish on his idea. Let that one flourish on her idea. Halabai, okay. As the eyes of your understanding from him that shields you to open them up so that the portals of heaven are opened and you begin to see HS is above all. I was speaking to someone the other day and I said, you know, this, this has gone so beyond and crazy that I'm sure some people are beginning to, to, to cook up cities. The way there is desperation, they would not be afraid to take my city and repackage it. Hey, I'm talking. When you do not have it, you can ask him and he will give it unto you. And he says, I will give it without reproach. Hallelujah. I don't know how I got there. I don't know. Hallelujah. I think I'm going to hold it so that I'm quick. Amen. I'm a masterpiece these days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Sight sees the reality. But faith, who is a spirit, sees a 
and hears the word of God. Am I realities of my life are saying I am in shambles. Am I realities of your life are saying uh, you are not different from the widow. But you know what? To hell with realities but be glory and praise to the truth of God. But be glory and praise to the truth of God. Our realities are saying the economy is bad, it is at its worst, and you and I are just likely to lose jobs. I am saying that is a reality, that is a system of the world. I choose the system of the kingdom. Hallelujah! And the Lord Jehovah is about to open our eyes in this house pertaining to the principles of the kingdom of prosperity because it is there and it is required and it is our season to emancipate it. It is our season to free it up. Amen. Hallelujah.